can't believe I lost everything. What a terrible idea this turned out to be. What was I thinking? My dream has turned into a nightmare. I wanted to start fresh in Daggerfall. I even have a name for my new shop. Garments by Odai. Has a nice ring, don't you think? Then, disaster. I cut through this pass and ran into wolves. I lost everything. I was in a hurry. I had a, an appointment I had to keep. Anyway, could you help me? I'm ruined without my sewing box, silken threads, and book of patterns. Gather them and meet me on the other side of the pass. I'll take the long way around. As long as I have the tools of my trade, I can make an honest living. A good tailor is welcome anywhere. Please, but do hurry. I worry that the wolves will chew up my book of patterns. I've made dresses and suits for nobles. Very elegant garments. The patterns in the book are priceless. Without them, my business is finished. Yes, well, I'm a spontaneous sort. Yes, spontaneous. Grab my tools and take to the road. Go where the moment takes me. I wanted a fresh start. Adventure. Excitement. I hadn't considered the wolves, though. I thought the pass was a shortcut. Get me closer to Daggerfall. I'm not really good with maps, though. I'm not anywhere near Daggerfall, am I? Oh, I should have listened to... Well, anyway, if you help me get my things, I'll stick to the main roads until I reach a safe settlement. Aldcroft sounds fine. I'm just anxious to get going. Fresh start and all that.
I don't suppose you've seen a frightened tailor wandering about. His name is Odai Philippe. I'm his wife, and I very much want to find him. That sounds like my sweet Odai. Kindest man in the world, but as helpless as a kitten. He spent the night at the Lion Guard camp nearby, and he must have wandered off. He sleepwalks sometimes. Odai's not used to rough living. Oh, I do hope he isn't frightened. Even deer tend to startle poor Odai. I was taking him to my mother's home in Wayrest. She just loves Odai to pieces. I can better concentrate on my job if I know Odai's safe. Oh, look, there he is now. Poor bedraggled darling. Thank you for helping him. I really will feel better once I get him safely to my mother's house. I just adore him so. I hate for anything to happen to him. There you are, my poor darling. You must have been sleepwalking again. You were gone when I woke up. Yes, dear. Sleepwalking. Again. Was my little cuddle bear frightened? You're safe now. I'll get you to my mother's. Have you snug as a bug in a rug in no time. And don't worry. I'll kill anyone or anything that gets in our way. Yes, dear. I'm sure you will. Well, that's enough excitement for one day. Come along, dearest. The sooner we get you to safety, the sooner I can get back to work. Don't forget to thank the kind stranger for helping you, dear. Thanks, stranger. For nothing.